Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Move Mess Day 5. My skin is looking so good. We are getting this morning started. It's not even 9 o'clock, but I have errands to run. I need to go renew my driver's license. Good times. And then Steven set up a new account at a bank, and I need to go and sign off on some paperwork, so I have to take care of that. And then we have some other errands that we need to run. So we need to get moving. Dogs are all taken care of. They're gonna watch TV while I'm out, and let's get moving. I am back from all of my errands. Honestly, today night might not be so much fun. We might just be cooking dinner and maybe hanging out with Steven a little bit. We'll see what we can film tonight. So this morning I went to the DMV. I needed to renew my driver's license and make sure that was all taken care of because we're just gonna be driving so much um, in such a far distance. I wanted to make sure that was all taken care of and obviously you need to have a renewed driver's license. So I took care of that. And then I went to the bank. Steven actually went yesterday and did like all the hard stuff. I basically walked in, met with the manager um, in his office, signed off on a couple papers, picked a cute card, and um, uh, that's about it. <laughs> he said to me when I sat down, he goes, oh, your husband was here yesterday. He said he was taking care of all the hard stuff. You're just left to sign. And then he was like, you have to sign about like 60 pages. Um, <laughs> so I went to sign and he was just like, uh, Steven already read everything. And I was like, great. Da -da 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 -da. Um, but we just wanted to open up a new account and everything. Um, so we took care of that and they were so lovely and they treated us so well. Then I ran to Target, picked up things I need to make the stuff shells tonight, came home. They were actually serving our property for the new buyers. Um, we have like 1.2 acres. So they were just like going through and um, serving all the land and measurements and all that for all that stuff. So after they left, I was able to get the dogs outside and play with them and hang out for a little bit. Um, yeah, and then I just turned on some tennis. So that's really all that's happened today thus far. I know it's super, super lame, but that's okay. Sometimes lame days are the best days. I wilted down some spinach with just a little bit of olive oil. I didn't bother seasoning it because I'm going to end up seasoning it when it's in the ricotta mixture. So I'm just gonna give it a chop. You could totally use frozen chopped spinach. You just wanna make sure you drain it all out really well. I just prefer to use fresh. It actually is much faster than thawing and like wringing out frozen spinach. Now to my bowl. I'm going to add 16 ounces of ricotta, some Parmesan cheese. Once again, no measurements. Measure with your heart. We're going to grab one egg. Just to help bind things together, one egg. And now we're gonna season it a little bit. We are going to just do some fresh ground pepper, add some salt, some garlic powder. Whenever I'm mixing ricotta, I prefer to just use a fork. I just feel like it breaks it down a little bit easier. going to add our spinach. Incorporate that with a fork. Mmm, it smells so good. Alright, so it looks like that. I'm gonna clean this up, my shells are going, and then we'll prep the rest later. You guys know I will keep it real with you. These shells that I picked up at Target were terrible. So many of them fell apart, and I even pulled them a little early to try to remedy that, but not the best shells I've ever worked with. But 
we're gonna see if we can make it work. So I'm just going to fill them as best as I can without damaging them more. And we are going to make the best with a tough situation. If this is the worst problem I have faced today, that's pretty good. To get my pan ready, I drizzled some olive oil in it and just brushed it around the edges, but I packed my pastry brush, so I actually just used the edge of a paper towel. And then I put about two, one and a half, two cups of uh, just jarred marinara sauce on the bottom, just so they don't stick. Although, as bad as these shells look, I don't think it would much matter if they stuck a little. And then what I'm doing is just rolling them open and kind of propping it open between two fingers until I can get the spoon of the spinach and ricotta mixture inside. Yeah, these shells are in rough shape. Some are okay, some held together quite nicely and are filling easily. I think stuffed shells get a bad rap of being really time consuming. They're really not bad at all. I like to mix up my mixture, so I do like a Mexican stuffed shell as well with like taco meat and salsa. I think like if you just think about the pasta as a vessel, you can have fun with it. There's lots of like different veggies you could stuff with. So this is just more of the traditional stuffed shell. I am running out of viable shells to stuff. So we're just gonna make it work as best as possible. Here's a decent one. Oh, it's kind of torn. Hopefully, once they start baking, they'll bind together a bit with the cheese on top. Maybe it'll help seal them up a tad because they are some rough looking shells. So I have my oven preheating for 350. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of sauce on top of these and then just top with an Italian blend cheese. I'm gonna cover it with tin foil, bake it for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna uncover it and let it bake for another 15. I'll show you when they're all done. All right, I just pulled the shells out of the oven. I like to put them under the broiler. Alexa off. I do like to put them under the broiler at the last minute, but look how beautiful they are. So those are done. Oh, shells. How was your day today? Mm. Mm. Exhausting. Are we watching? We're watching old school. We're watching old, we're watching old, old school. school. This is like season one or two? Two. All right, babe, go get changed so we can eat. It's a little after 8.30, and I just got out of the bathtub. Steven is upstairs, he has a little bit of a headache. So he just took Bubba's upstairs with him. But we had someone come this evening after dinner, which was so good. They picked up the bar cabinet that used to be there, and another cabinet. <laughs> I found old bottles of Skinny Girl margaritas. I wonder if these go bad. Does alcohol even go bad? Refrigerate after opening. Best if consumed 30 days after opening. I don't see a date on it. Are these still good? Can I keep them? Let me know. I would love to keep them. Yeah, so that cabinet is gone. I want to do a little bit of planning before... We watch, well, not we, I watch the Taylor Swift movie because it comes on at nine and I want to see the new additions. I also brought this down from my office because I need some sort of table there in the meantime. Also, just remembered, I had bought these on eBay because my movie theater didn't have them. I'm gonna make, I have some skinny girl popcorn 
and I have the Taylor Swift cup, and I have the Taylor Swift tin popcorn bucket. I'm gonna make popcorn and put it in there um, to watch my movie with. <laughs> Obviously, that's gonna be very happy. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go and do, in the meantime now, I do wanna do a little bit of planning. <laughs> planning for what? I don't know. I think I have to realize that life looks different. Um, I had said the other day that I didn't feel productive and someone corrected me and was like, you have to stop thinking that way. And they're 100% right. I don't think, I think I've measured productiveness based off of like how early I've been up, how much I've gotten done, all of those things. And I have to start measuring productiveness a little bit differently than I have previously in life. Because in some ways I feel like I'm wasting the day, but it's because I'm so used to like every second of every day just being so scheduled and busy. And perhaps that level of busy wasn't exactly normal. So before I sit down and plan, I wanna show you a new book. I finished The Villa, loved it, loved it, loved it. And I wanna show you my next read. This was actually a gift from one of my amazing team members who just knows me so well and how hard I am on myself. She got me this book called Worthy, How to Believe You Are Enough and Transform Your Life, Simple Steps to Life-Changing Results. Um, and I really wanna dive in and read it. This is a book that I'm gonna read with a highlighter. Um, and probably some little post-its so I can tag stuff as I'm reading it. But look how cool the cover is too. I'm gonna dive into that this evening before I head off to bed. But I'm gonna do some planning in the meantime. I was just talking for like five minutes and not filming. So I just finished editing, um, editing. I just finished planning and mapping out everything. I have found that giving everything a time is super important. So I really like this planner that has my to-do list and then like the time stamps on the left because giving everything a time makes me feel better and also allows me to like really like think through thoughtfully a day. So I just finished that. But the rest of my day is going to be watching the Taylor Swift movie and hanging out and enjoying that. Today wasn't a super interesting day, but I ended up getting caught up at the bank and at the DMV all morning, so it made filming a little bit different. But I do have some fun stuff coming up um, in movement, so get ready. In the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.